The Montreal Canadiens paid a big price to acquire Alex Newhook, and they'll be looking to maximize their investment this season. Hello fan, how are you? Welcome, now let's analyze the ways that Montreal has to alleviate a difficult situation, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. Out of all the Colorado Avalanche players to hit the ice in 2022-2023, Alex Newhook was perhaps the biggest letdown from an on-ice perspective. After a stellar rookie season, which saw him put up 13 goals and 20 assists for 33 points in 71 games, the 22-year-old couldn't hit another gear in his play the following season amid all the injuries and ensuing opportunities with the former Stanley Cup winners. The Avalanche sought to capitalize on Newhook's remaining potential, shopped him just before the 2023 NHL draft, and found a partner in the Montreal Canadiens. With general manager Kent Hughes being his former family advisor and agent, he believed Newhook had much more untapped potential and could be a better fit in Montreal's rebuilding environment. But what does Montreal need to do to properly develop their new forward for him to have a bounce-back season similar to last summer's acquisition, Kirby Doc? Last season, Alex Newhook was given some time on the Avalanche's top six, playing a second-line center role on a team decimated with injuries. He couldn't stick the landing for too long, as head coach Jared Bednar, who desperately needed wins, demoted Newhook after a few games. The talent was there but there seemingly wasn't any chemistry. With the Canadians understandably still going through their rebuild, the Montreal Canadiens won't be as harsh on his mistakes as the Avalanche were, giving the youngster room to be more creative and offensively driven on the ice. Now, the million-dollar question, where does Alex Newhook fit in the Montreal Canadiens lineup this season? Although he's seemingly a lock to play on the second power play wave, it's where he plays at even strength that has sparked debate among the fan base. It seems unlikely that S.T. Lewis would throw him right into the fire on the top line to start his tenure in Montreal, but a stint on the second line wouldn't be out of the question in normal circumstances. Either flanking Kirby Doc or Sean Monaghan, Newhook would be a big help to either center, having been a center for most of his career and covering a lot of ice in the process. The injury to Christian Dvorak somewhat complicates the matter, as the Canadians would then have Suzuki, Monaghan, Doc, Newhook, and Jake Evans to cover at center. But if St. Lewis reunites Doc, Suzuki, and Caulfield again this season, Monaghan would likely slot into the second-line role. As we saw last season, Jake Evans, an albeit serviceable player, couldn't hold down the third-line role with regularity, and that's likely where the Canadians could slot Newhook to start the year as he gets acclimated to the new system. However, once Dvorak returns, it wouldn't be surprising to see the 22-year-old hold a permanent role in the Canadiens' top six, likely on the right wing next to Doc or Monaghan. If he can manage to hold that spot and improve his offensive numbers, it'll go a long way in ensuring that Kent Hughes' bet on Newhook was a shrewd one. Well what do you think about this? Do you believe that this season Alex Newhook will show his full potential? Leave your opinion in the comments, I'd love to know what you think. And stay tuned to the channel because I'm always posting the latest news. Subscribe so you don't miss anything.